So, hi, welcome to Chemistry 3006, the hydrosphere. We're now going to talk a little bit about acids, bases and buffers. Acids, what's the most important quantity regarding acids? Well, it's the pH. Uh, and that's arguably the most important property of water. It affects almost all equilibria. Uh, the, the pH, uh, and it affects whether, for example, uh, solids will coagulate. Uh, colloids, which are suspensions of little solids, like mud, if you change the pH, those colloids may then settle out to form goo at the bottom of the lake. And pH also affects the redox properties of materials. Uh, we'll look at that later when we look at pool bay diagrams. The pH of water also affects the ability of water to support living organisms. Here's an example here, a very uh, unfortunate example. If the pH uh, becomes very low, very acidic, then uh, dissolved, uh, then aluminosilicate materials or perhaps metallic aluminium will dissolve into the water if the pH is low. So that's an example of how pH is affecting a chemical reaction and in that case the aluminium can get into living organisms and kill them. Uh, generally speaking, uh, life uh, operates in a very narrow regime, a narrow regime of temperature, pressure and indeed pH. Uh, and that's all to do with the fact that the enzymes that are involved in life, at least the life that we know, uh, in, in our regular atmospheric situation, uh, is dictated by certain enzymes and the enzymes are proteins and the proteins are covered on their surface by hydrogens and uh, whether the P depending on the pH the proteins can take different shapes um, it's called their secondary structure and the secondary structure determines whether the enzymes or the proteins will catalyze certain reactions if you go outside those pH ranges certain biological processes just won't occur it's because of the hydrogens on the surface of the proteins that causes that to happen. There are living organisms that can operate at much higher temperatures and different pHs. For example, uh, some of the organisms which live near hot vents at the bottom of the ocean. In that case, the acidity can be much greater and certainly the temperature and life has evolved to cope with that. Perhaps those kinds of life forms were the first kinds that actually existed and now their habitat is very limited. Uh, those enzymes are extremely useful, the high temperature versions of those enzymes. For example, they're used in the polymerase chain reaction where temperature is changed to become colder and hotter, colder and hotter and by using this cyclic temperature process with these high temperature enzymes, uh, DNA can be copied, as is shown on many shows, uh, crime shows. What is pH? Okay, well, pH is, P stands for negative log of, normally. Uh, negative log of what? And, uh, normally we would say negative log of the concentration of H+. Plus. But that is incorrect. The pH is actually negative log of the activity of H+. You've learned this in second year. Activity is the correct definition of pH because pH is actually an energetic quantity. pH is related to delta G, free energy. Uh, and whenever we have that, we need activities. Only, only at low concentrations to activities approach concentration. Otherwise, the activity is normally given by a symbol brackets H plus, round brackets, that indicates activity. Square brackets indicates concentration. Uh, it can also be written as A subscript quantity. So the activity of H plus would be A subscript H plus. In either case, the activity is equal to the concentration times the activity coefficient gamma. 
Now, we will see that H plus activity, and hence pH, depends on the charge and concentration of all the other species that are present in the solution. pH is not just equal to the concentration of H plus. It is not. pH depends not only on the concentration of H plus, but the concentration of all the other species present in the solution, especially the charged species. And there's a certain quantity called the ionic strength. The ionic strength, which determines the activity coefficient and hence 